Hey, everybody, it's me, the authority. The unity of light is here to destroy your life and all the progress of human progress. So, where we left off is that the uh, unity of all the, uh, what did we call them? The cardinals. The cardinals. The, uh, the leaders, the ultimate authority, has uh, discussed with the youth and, and said, the cardinals have been where they are. They, uh, they overthrew their government, and uh, they did it because they wanted more freedom and they wanted to have a better life. But it all went downhill, and they have given the youthful offenders a chance to air their grievances before the entire nation. They will have their message out to every possible person that they can, and uh, reluctantly, or maybe resignedly, the youth have agreed to do so. I don't know. No. I think Belle is really excited to do this. <laughs> and all the rest of us are like, what the fuck? It's like, this doesn't sound great, but okay. So, yeah. There is a sense that uh, all is not as it appears, but uh, time and progress and narrative marches on. So now we are in scene four, which is the we won. So now <laughs> We're feeling great. Get- We've got to get a big win for the youthful offenders before it all comes crashing down eventually. Yeah. So, now we're going to hand this over to Cassie. Okay. Uh, <laughs> all right. Um, so, yeah. We are fast forwarded. We're in this really bright, clean, like, green room. And we can see, like, through the glass door, like, the entire setup of, of the, the thing. There's cameras, there's, like, you know, crews of, of people that are, are working them, and, and we are just about to, you know, go out and, and, and make our address. So it's almost time. So, um, yeah. So we final preparations? A, final prep. I don't... <laughs> What's our authority figure or question? question? Um, authority. Oh gosh, I think. Um... <laughs> Sorry for a second. I was like, oh, I think that. What is it? Journey Jenkins. <laughs> <laughs> Journey Jenkins live here with the Cardinals. <laughs> That'd be awesome. <laughs> is that is that too weird? <laughs> uh, <laughs> No, that would be you hilarious. Big Jenkins, nope. big Journey Jenkins. <laughs> There's some good friendship questions as alternatives. <laughs> yes. Okay. Um. Oh, you know what? Um. Maybe since Bell is really excited about this whole um like press events, I I feel like maybe we should do. His question, like, if if we're the good guys, why why are you turning away people that help and agree with you? And it's like because it's it's truth to tell, and he's about to tell it. <laughs> 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 oh, so, so, yeah, I, I feel like that's a, a fitting, fitting thing. Is, we're gonna just look crazy by the end of it. Is this gonna yeah. be aliens? Well, it's somehow just... somehow we have to turn this into a win. So here goes something. Yeah. Does it? Is it? Um. It turns out they are aliens. Is that our win? <laughs> we know we need to have. I don't a... think that's one of the questions that we've asked. I think <laughs> if anything, what this is, um, for us is we have a plan in motion, or we're about to. We would need like the final piece before we go on, or something. You know what I mean? Like there's, there has the, to be the... a, a plan, something. Yeah. We've had time so what, to think what... about it. Uh, let's let's Talk. do this. Um, what you've had some time to think about it. What are the main points that you are going to hit when you address the nation? Tell them the truth about pure ID. Tell so them pure the truth. ID. Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay. Which is okay. what? Um, that really it was a switch for them for population control and superpowers for others. And they decided to be your gods instead. So uh, your, your pure ID and, and the wages of sin uh, and, and all of that, basically like just unpacking everything that, that has gone along with that. Yep. 
Hey, Radio Free to Please became our stream boss yet no, again. No, no, no. Who no, would no, you no. like to support? No, 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 no. Good thing radio, we kept that no. reroll then. <laughs> radio, no. Right? Radio, no. Why do you? Why? Why? Radio, please. Please. <laughs> oh man. I mean, I, I, I think that maybe like I'd like to hit on you know the fact that that there's no free will. Like we're being. It's just control. It's either controlled by your own sins or controlled through, you know, betraying your friends and your loved ones. The, um, so free will is another one. Are you going yeah. to discuss with everyone what you learned, uh, with when the, uh, Cardinals spoke to you? Oh, sorry. Which one? Like when the Cardinals said, uh, "Like here's the truth. Here's 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 what's happened." Oh. Are we in role playing mode? Or are we still deciding questions mode? Just deciding questions. You can okay. do whatever you want. Then. Ooh, radio gave it to the click, so it's two two. Oh, oh my gosh! gosh. Yeah. Give up. I gotta stop using mine then, because apparently we just give it to whoever doesn't trust him. <laughs> He's got um, some sort of plan involved. <laughs> So I, I mean maybe that would be kind of a a big thing, but I don't necessarily think that that should be the main point of what we're doing. Yeah, because because okay. they don't know anything. The populace doesn't know anything about the Gillinus, and like everything was burned. We're basically going out there with like we're talking to a bunch of people that literally know nothing they've been spoon fed this their entire lives and we're going to look like crazies all right so here's what uh well we'll just we'll just role play it out so you guys are getting ready to go on uh and let's just say you have five minutes until uh until things go live okay okay Strike is finishing up a, an, an art piece with graffiti. <laughs> nice. Is, is, is he back to being the uh, Dong King again? <laughs> well, I was going to go ahead and arms <laughs> crossed, just sort of nodding and smiling in appreciation as he's finishing his graffiti. Doesn't are seem you going to be gonna share to... with the class what the graffiti is? <laughs> I have to. I'm holding on to it. Okay. For now. I'm going right. to. I'll decide as I go. <laughs> there it is. Oh lord. Okay. Uh. So, um, do you guys have a plan for when we go out there, or are we just gonna? I thought you had a plan. You were the one that wanted to do this. You're the yeah. one that wanted to go along with this. Yeah, I've wanted to do this and go along with this. Sure, that very accurately described my fucking uh, choice in the matter. Of course. Oh, um, oh, I forgot. Helping yourself to the fucking buffet was your choice of the matter. What? I was there's fucking a... hungry. What? There's a what? knock on the door. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to have a conversation here. Oh my you, God. Hear, you hear the, uh, the woman uh, that was speaking to you the, the woman's voice from the pariah. She says, "Oh, I'm sorry. I'll I'll come back later. I guess." All right. Sorry. You were saying <laughs> helping yourself to the buffet, like. Oh right. Yes, I was hungry. They haven't been feeding us well. What? It's food. What are we supposed to do? Uh, we hear that story about the guy who's hanging onto a cliff, and there's a strawberry and a tiger above him, and all that stuff. You know, eats a strawberry. That shit. Eat the fucking strawberries. Whatever. We're fucked. It doesn't matter. If we do anything worth saying, they're going to shut down the broadcast. And, and if we say it. anything, they're going to kill us off like the last 20 fucking people. I know, right? So we play along with the stupid fucking game. We're, we're fucked. They hold all the cards. There's nothing we can Just play along and try to survive. I am I mean, honestly, I'm thinking I'm just going to smell all of the alien stuff that I know that just makes everyone's brains zone out because I don't fucking care. Or the other option is we just lay out exactly what they told us. They admitted to us that their society plan was a fucking failure and that they want us to overthrow them. That we shouldn't have a violent revolution, but, you know, come up with something better without killing each other or something. I don't know. This is, 
this is our opportunity that worth trying? to say something. Yeah. We're, so we're just shut that shit down in a second. Listen. So really, Bell, ends, I think. Bell. You need to just speak your mind because ultimately what everyone out there believes is bullshit we shouldn't have to say the truth we could go out there and spout bigger bullshit more convincing bullshit <laughs> so what we're gonna actually say that there's aliens and everything Tell me that wouldn't be a better explanation than literally fucking everything we just learned. <laughs> That's what I've been what? trying to tell everyone all this time. And you should but stick it's not by fucking... it. So, if we think that this is a trap, and it probably it is, is a fucking trap. Are you kidding then, me? This... Then why don't we use aliens? We already know that they're gonna. I'm gonna call for a struggle. <laughs> okay. My desire is for this conversation to break you apart and to have you go into the live broadcast divided. And <laughs> I guess, yeah, and I guess our hope it's is to um, be unified under one umbrella of ridiculousness. <laughs> We need to, yeah, foolproof plan. <laughs> or, yeah, come up with, Just like, turn it a, completely around on the Cardinals and actually see where they think we're going to fail. Yeah, get, get our sucker punch in. They don't pull the plug before it's too late, and some message gets out that gets in people's hearts and minds. I don't know. That would be the coolest option, I think. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, beginning the actual, like, threatening part of the struggle, Bell actually looks at Unity, and he actually looks pissed. He, sure, just use my truth, the shit that I really believe in deep down, as a source of fucking mockery for all of this. Yeah, let's make it a fucking carnival. Oh, I'm standing up. <laughs> no, I'm actually standing up. I'm like, I'm, I'm setting the stage of the, you know. Yeah, now, oh, it's like, no. now, the, now there's the conflict because, you know, that yeah. was a, kind of something similar was about to come out of Bell's mouth before. Yeah, uh, we yeah. Nice. Before the struggle, so. It's really good. Nice. I love it. So who's going to stand up? Alice, That's what I am here, right? Alice. I'm a fucking carnival clown. All right, me. <laughs> Juggling. Oh, you got 11. Yeah. <laughs> 11. Nice. Alright, I am gonna go use my know-it-all skill. I'm gonna be a <laughs> bit of fucking... <laughs> fucking sick of this! Just straight up, Bell, what the fuck? Why are you yelling at Unity about this? Your beliefs are a fucking circus show. That's what they don't expect. You might believe it, but everybody else might not. But you know what? It just might be fucking crazy enough that everybody will fucking believe it! There's no fucking aliens, but who fucking cares according to you? Just fucking feed it to the masses! We're not gonna fucking win this! What the hell else are we supposed to do? But there are aliens! Oh my fucking god, and Alice flips the table and walks <laughs> off! <laughs> wait, 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 Alice, Alice, Alice. And I just like, grab her by the arm. Listen. All right. Hold on. That was, yeah. that was her, that was her. Um, so, a as this is all happening, um, the knock on the door happens again. Uh, ex excuse me. Um, any chance I could I could speak with you just for a moment? Um. Alice throws a fucking cup at the door. No! <laughs> so the oh. the um the the lady sounding uh, pariah uh, says, "Well, I I've got some water here for you if you'd like any." Um, and also, I would be glad to join you in trying to expose the Cardinals, because I really don't like what's going on here. But if you'd rather go by yourself, that's fine. And you hear the kind of plate sit down and uh, the footsteps walk away. And I will claim seven and two. <laughs> Also, if you like some psychoactive drugs. <laughs> <laughs> and kittens. I like kittens. Yeah, let's ignore her. Yeah. 
Um, well, somebody needs to stand up. We're struggling. Yeah. All right, Oz, you wanted to say something. I cut you off. Oh no, just uh, like we we all just. I think everybody in the room is just kind of yeah. like we're not. I don't know if Unity is, but I think everybody else is kind of like no, go away. Um. But also, Cliff or uh, Bell has basically called you all out, and uh... Uh, Bell's kind of sputtering and like uh, uh, kind of like caught in that. And, and Alice has decision. actually not done anything to assuage him, but but rather yeah. said, "Yes, yeah. it is. It is bullshit, and we don't agree with you. And what are you going to do?" No. <laughs> gonna, we're going to use it anyway. I'm like I'm just like, but, 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 uh. I'll stand up. Remember, you're standing up against the disharmony that's forming, not yes. against each other. Yeah. All right. So I rolled a three. God. Oh. Okay. I see. <laughs> Yeah, all the low numbers. Uh, okay, so I am going to use my uh, shit. <laughs> shit sorry. I always use my shit story. Um, no, I'm gonna actually. I'm gonna use my thrills, and I'm gonna say, guys, why just stop at a two or three minute broadcast of us bumbling around like pieces of shit? when we could just take over the whole fucking station permanently. Oh. We're oh, out wait. of hand... Listen, we are out of handcuffs. Between all four of us, we could take this over. And we could broadcast... We get to put the broadcast on our terms. We grab all the fucking cameras, we run out selfie cam style, and we just keep talking, switching. I don't just, literally just, we can't let them have control of the broadcast. For all we know, while we're talking, they could be putting, you know, little bunny ears superimposed on us, making us look like shit. We need control <laughs> of the situation. Yeah, but Horns. I don't think they should do that. So now the, the offer on the table is to just forego this whole thing and just basically bust out and, and kick ass. We'll still do the broadcast, but we're gonna take over yeah, we're gonna take over the station. And what that's, my, the that's my suggestion, yeah. Uh the knock comes on the door another time. I I'm sorry, but why don't you care about anyone but yourselves? Can't you see that other people are suffering too, and I wanna help? Why do you get to be the only ones to be heroes? What can you do to help? I just want to share my story. Up. I've been where you are. We lost. <gasps> oh my God. I just want to help. And I'll take number... I don't know what number do I take now. Twelve? Oh yeah, twelve. <laughs> that one. All right. The yeah, authority one is so hard to see. Okay. We're rolling a four. <laughs> wow. Let's fill that back more. What the fuck is happening? <laughs> <laughs> we're just we're just filling it to the it's top, I guess. Par yeah. for the course. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to use my um. Hmm. I'm going to use my cool, I guess. We were like. First of all, the coolest thing I could do at this moment is like, I just sort of sag for a moment and, and turn to Unity and say, uh, Unity, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have yelled at you. It was, you, I you know you didn't mean it that way. I shouldn't have. But I don't I... think, I don't think you're right about the alien story. It's not going to reach people's hearts and minds, even though it, I believe it's the truth. I, th I think if we're going to, have a real shot at making it through this. And we're gonna have to trust the robot. At least this one. I I think it's a I think it's a risky move, but uh, if it turns out in, to pay off, it might be our only real advantage. 
If it turns out to not work, we were fucked anyway. What do you think? I like it. I think we should let her in. She's a fucking distraction. Just let her the fuck in. <laughs> Let's talk to her outside. N no, what if there are other people out there? There's people already listening in on literally everything that we're fucking doing. Oh. Most likely. Yeah. They knew, they knew about my sisters and my art. They knew about my, and I look over at Alice and I just like shut myself up. And like this, <laughs> this. <laughs> <laughs> they knew about my huge <laughs> crush. Yeah. Uh, They've known they've known our movements this whole time. They're probably listening in on this conversation right now. <clears throat> I don't. If you, if you want to talk to her, talk to her, I mean, I'll trust you, Bill. But she said that she was where we were. She said that she failed. Maybe she can help us. People say a lot of things. What do we have left to lose at this point? Yeah, I guess that pretty well uh, mm -hmm. surmises my my yeah. name. Yeah. So you let her in. Yeah. yeah. Starts to go ahead, and uh, she brings in the water, and she says it's important to stay hydrated. Um, you're going to be talking a long time, but I, I just want an opportunity to say to show everybody what's really going on. Nobody knows who we are, except for you. Nobody knows that we're metal and trapped in these things. In fact, I didn't even know it until about a few hours ago. But this is apparently our punishment. I want an opportunity to tell everybody who the Cardinals really are. Is that okay? Who are they really? The Cardinals are actually aliens. What? God! Fucking! Damn it. <laughs> and I, I just I just want to be able to share that because I know that nobody else knows that and no one else would ever be able to guess. Is everybody what? in this fucking building on fucking crack? There's no such thing as aliens! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay, okay. We're <laughs> laughing, but what are we doing actually right now upon delivery of that line? That was just seething. Nobody, nobody knew or would guess or would listen to anybody. Yeah. That's, what I, that's right. Like, I've, having to, I've had to keep my mouth shut and not say anything while everybody else just blindly accepts this and and nobody knows nobody is smart enough to put the pieces together it's the only rational explanation and, oh and who are you and who are you, you believe me? <laughs> who are you tell me who uh, you are i will drop that bomb and claim number 10 Fuck. <laughs> and then she'll say her name is I don't want to uh, live on this planet anymore. Her name <laughs> Take is... me to your fucking leader, Conehead. <laughs> Go. Leonor. Leonor? Leonor. Not Leonor, just Leonor. Do we have to narf all the Garfox? What? Oh my god. Never mind. Okay. I just... I... <laughs> I don't necessarily think that's what we should lead with. <laughs> I'm gonna stand up. To it. I'll stand up. <laughs> you guys are like, like it's aliens. Go with aliens, and then you find out like you have some backup, and you're like, yeah, actually no, let's not. <laughs> okay. Bell's like, I don't know what's going oh on. Oh my god. A five. <laughs> oh my god. What is happening? Just the same thing that happened like two sessions ago. No, but this is like going downward. <laughs> God. Oh my god. She says, please just let me take care of this. Please just let me share what I know. I, I don't think we should lead with that. No. No, you tell me what you know, and I incorporate it into it. 
You don't get to tell the whole fucking alien story, big reveal thing. That's my- that, that's just what I've been doing! I have 247 episodes broadcast through, <laughs> and I start laying through different, you know, uh, various different platforms and such. Uh, Been my yeah. message all this time to make us weak so they can invade us, and we haven't advanced ourselves to the point we can properly defend ourselves. Wait, wait, what is what is Unity head. using for her five? We must have been the Jillianists before, who were originally influenced by the aliens, and then you're the reaction to it and how they controlled it. I don't know. I don't understand. Um, I, I'll use I'll use my pride. I think uh, that that seems to be the. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, but like, <sighs> but if we're not um, sure that people are gonna go for it right away, we have to lead into it. You know, we can't just. She says, "I don't understand. What's more important, the truth or getting people to believe what you want?" How can we prove it? Truth is truth, whether you can prove it or not. Oh, that's. <sighs> I just don't understand why you why you guys don't listen to your friend. You guys seem to belittle him and, and make him feel like he's not even a part of this group. And I'll take number nine. Oh, that's not that's true. low. That's low, Opti. What? What? I'm the one telling. <clears throat> yeah, I'm saying like no. We should just lead with aliens. <clears throat> Who's standing up? By rolling a six or eight, <laughs> <laughs> I'll burn this house down. Let's yeah, I will stand Get it now. Go six. six. <laughs> <laughs> oh my man. god, this is insane. <laughs> this this I can't will even be. Man. I'm gonna yeah. go with my disorder on this one. Of it's alien. <laughs> I'll be like, I listen. Uh, right, we we. We can go out there and say it's aliens without proof, without evidence. Um, it'd be just another tall tale on top of things, just like the whole Unity religion bolt crap. You know, we've got to find another way. So whatever, whatever put you in power isn't steering this ship, in, and that means getting the people to stand up for themselves somehow. So that means discrediting the Cardinals. Whether people believe it's aliens or not, that's not important. It's true deep down, but what's important is that humanity gets back on their feet. Dude, everybody loves to go against aliens. Aliens are the other. You want to talk about creating unity? I read it in a comic book. Humans never go with the aliens. Aliens are fucked up. If we say that all of this is aliens, and we have this robot to back us up, yeah, maybe it's bullshit, maybe it's not, but we can actually create a united front. She what? turns to you and says, you aren't any better than anyone else if you want to put all the blame onto things that you don't understand. If there really are aliens and you don't know anything about them and you want to blame everything and all the world's woes on someone that you're afraid of, you're just like the unity of all. And I'll claim eight. Ouch! Damn! All right, so we've got a full board. Yay! Right. For the first time, full board. Who wants uh... without a single reroll? <laughs> so who wants to stand up? Yeah. Yeah. I'll stand up. Do it. Nine. No! 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 I'm re-rolling that motherfucker. A All few right. times, probably. Oh no, man. <laughs> oh. Yay. That's us. That's us. Yes. Reroll. No. no! <laughs> Locking it. Do it. Do it. Five. Yay. Hey. No! Oh my god! <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on, Katie. Katie, seven. No! Oh my god. Last reroll. Eight. Yes! No! Yeah! yeah! 
the Wow. Show. So you either go into the broadcast <laughs> disharmonized or you sell out, sister. Blue all of it. Oh Holy my shit. God. That was pretty epic. <laughs> Fuck me. Sell out, girl. Crazy. Sell out. Selling out like the bitch I am. <laughs> <laughs> hey, and Radio just became our stream boss. Let us know who you would like to support. It's too late. <laughs> no, sure, sure. It's, it is too late. But, but who would like to support for the next scene? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> go, go, Gadget Artifice. Authority. Authority got no. a, re a block Why? for the next scene. <laughs> because because when, you, when you spend it, you get it back. It's like uh, the <gasps> wishes in... In Neverending Story. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm oh selling my out God. smart. I think Alice's smarts have gotten her through all of this, and now she's just sick of everybody else's shit, so she's gonna start becoming a pedantic bitch about everything. Oh, man. Nitpicking oh, man. details. So I'm selling out smart, but I still get to use smart on this, right? Mm hmm. Or so, you get to use pedantic or whatever. I'm gonna stick with smart and wave smart. Good. Well, no. Do I have to no, use pedantic? Have, no. Yeah. Now it's pedantic. You're going from smart to pedantic in this in this moment. Oh boy. So You're I the the well actually person now. Well, actually. So guys, no fucking real. We can't just go forward with aliens. Seriously, you have to have some sort of fucking proof. Like you can't go and look all cute like Unity and just smile and be happy. You literally need fucking. Like, I can't even begin to describe how much you need fucking proof. Proof. Proof is in the science. Proof is what has got fucking the vaccine for everything. Proof is in the fucking nature of everything. So you either get a cardinal to straight up fucking confess that they're a goddamn fucking alien on live TV, or we have nothing. The robot oh. says she's right. The water makes you unable to tell lies. And everyone I have, I have the bad. water. They're going to broadcast it right before everything. I have the water. The water I, I, that's I, sitting right in front of you uh, makes people oh. tell the truth. I thought we were going to go back on the whole holy water thing that we got like back in like our second episode. <laughs> I was like excited there for a second. I'm like, I have the MacGuffin! Strike, Strike grabs the cup of water and downs it. And he's going to just, he's going to down oh, one of no. the cups of water. Oh no. <clears throat> How long does it take what's to kick your, in? Well, what's your plan here? How long does this take to kick in? What uh, immediately. Immediately. Well, drinks as well. Ask me anything. It was a cup to unity. Wait, wait, stop. I want to prove oh, if this snap. works or not. Ask me anything. Who are you telling? Who are you asking? All of the, the room. Except the robot. Except Lenor. <laughs> Alice, by the way, is going to sneak on over to the water and take the holy water that she had gotten earlier and kind of fill up the vial with the truth water, put a stopper on it, and kind of shake it. Who's going to ask uh, uh, Strike a question to see if this if this truth water works? <clears throat> I will. Okay. Um... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Strike, what did you mean earlier the other day? You were just talking to me that that what do you what what did you mean by all of that? You, you're a good friend and everything, but you seem to Oh no, Oz why <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't yeah. understand. You seem to have been stuck on your words. <laughs> The truth serum works, by the way. You are you are now <laughs> okay. Alice, you are literally the most amazing girl I've ever met in my life. And <gasps> you inspire me, you you drive me. You If we get through all of this. I, I really want to make this work, you know? Make what work? Whatever. Us. I don't care. <laughs> when that... When that robot told me that it would never work, that my sisters are a piece of shit, that, that my art sucks, that... I just want to tell them 
fuck you, man. And if you'd let me, I would rebel in front of all of fucking TV if I could kiss you right now. Right on that stage. I'll stop the world and melt. <laughs> I... Holy shit, this works. Um, what? <clears throat> <clears throat> um, alright, alright then. Um... And scene. No! <laughs> You, you can't win. We, we can't you get won. like a 30 sec like 30 seconds to air we have a moment here uh no <laughs> because in scene five no! begins with, <laughs> with the entire room uh the walls being lifted up and you are now exposed to everyone fuck and you i mean you can do whatever you want to but the, uh, the, the stadium is full. They're all looking at you. There are cameras everywhere. And uh, there's somebody there, uh, one of the Cardinals, dressed up in the full regalia. And uh, they say, and now we're going to hear from, uh, from these youth. We want to give them uh, as much opportunity to share as, as honestly as they, as they absolutely want to. And we are here to make sure it happens because... We don't want to be unfair to anyone. So without further ado, I believe it is uh, Strike, Mr. Belltruth, the lovely Unity, and Alice. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> this is the weird <laughs> fuck scene. Scientists, you don't get any, you don't get any props. But they're trying to they're trying to woo Unity because she is secretly she's secretly their goal. She's secretly kind of in on it. She secretly kind of wants it to work. Um, so <laughs> that, that's their reason. So and then of course you've got the robot who's um, who's standing by, kind of like <laughs> you can't really read her. She's just a <laughs> she's just a she's robot. Just fucking yeah. metal. She's just a, a metal cylinder <laughs> for the for the face. So. Uh -huh. yeah. Uh, all right. Who's gonna start talking? Alice is still kind of just sputtering and like turning more and more and more bright red. In fact, there's like a little bit of a heat aura coming off of her as she's just kind of like full on embarrassed and wants to find like the nearest hole to crawl into. It wouldn't have been as bad if it was just the room, but now there's a full audience and like she is just beat fucking red from head to toe. <laughs> Welcome, uh, Bell steps forward and says, Welcome, ladies, gentlemen, children, elders, to this, the final broadcast of the Ring of Truth <laughs> podcast. I am your host, Bell Truth, oh, no. and with me are my friends and companions who have struggled long and hard to bring you this truth tonight. We're hoping tomorrow brings better day. Strike, why don't you tell them about some of your hardships? <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> no, that's, that's, a, that's an okay question to ask while he's on truth serum. <laughs> well, you know, you don't have to just spout out anything. You can spout out the yeah, thing, yeah, yeah, appropriate yeah. things. So, it's... <laughs> oh my gosh. This system of... We've found out that this Tears of Unity, the Wages of Sin, are used to control us via the pure ID. I grew up with my family with my parents struggling to keep their pure ID up so high that they were willing to sell us out. Any little thing that they could, any dirt, they would use it against us and confess against their own kids. 
and my sisters died because they were they were scapegoated they did that to me too but then I survived and then I could do this and I turn invisible and I pop back open I pop, pop back on and say the wages of sin are triggered I just want justice for my sisters and I want justice for all of the families out there that have had to endure the exact same thing because we shouldn't be turning against each other we should be families should be together through thick and thin good and bad I forgot I'm gonna call a uh, struggle right now uh, but I forgot to claim a question or an authority figure. So oh, I'm yeah, going to claim, um, did we accomplish anything by killing Pastor Robinson? Oh, we're going to certainly fucking find out, aren't we, kids? <laughs> <laughs> um, the uh, Cardinal is going to say uh, in response, thank you for for being so honest with us. I wonder if you would also be honest with us um, when I ask you, did you kill Pastor Robinson? And I? I will. Well, I guess I won't claim anything. But that's yeah, the that's the answer. Who, else, right? Yeah. Who, well, I mean, you have to answer this. Yeah. Well, yes, you all have to answer this. So I'll just say, hey, like, we'll call a struggle. What I want to have happen is for you to implicate yourself in all manner of things. And to have the crowd turn against you. Oh fuck! I'll stand up right away. I think wait, we need our we need our hope here. Oh wait, how the fuckers is alien? Is oh, our gosh. is our <laughs> hope? So our hope is to expose the unity of all. Yeah. Not necessarily okay. as aliens. But that might but work. Like, if people actually. It doesn't matter. It. Just like to. Or what, what is it? End the unity of all and expose? Because it's not just exposed. This is literally like this is our chance, right? You don't even know they're aliens, by the way. That's just what yeah, we're right. That's just what Leonor said. We need to. Is our hope to make the truth ours? Supposed to put the frogs. They are what? What does it, what it mean? Yeah. Like, because we are, I mean, yeah, I mean, is our, we, we have two options. We can either expose the authority legit, even though, you know, there's, we don't know everything about this nebula society, right? But we know mm -hmm. enough that we can start Another implicating, aliens. right? And we know that we have a truth serum that we could, if we get into a cardinal, Right, he can oh, talk. Palmer has a good one. Expose the duplicity of the cardinal. Yes, yeah, That's we can. A good uh, way of putting it. Him somehow. Is know. that going to end this? Is our goal though to end the system? Because we remember well, that's also our overreaching like, goal though. Yeah, I think that's our end goal. All right. Well, I mean, like you're you're not gonna you're not gonna have the episode ending thing happen this scene. Right. But right, right, you right. can absolutely expose the duplicity of the cardinal. If that's what you want to do. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, I would like, I think, for us to win to have it be that the robot is really on our. Side. <laughs> okay. That's okay. not a bad goal, actually. Yeah. yeah. That's fine. If you don't, then the robot is not. <laughs> it's been just manipulating us. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man, good one, Cliff. That's that's I like stuff. it. Yeah. Mm, mm. You know what? Really you prove do, our you do more of that stuff, spot. like stuff where it's like it's un, it's unclear until you win or lose. I like that. That's a great one. Okay, cool. Who's gonna stand up? I will stand up, and I will say, uh, under the holy water, truthfully, I do not know if we actually killed um, 
the pastor. I killed him myself and I saw him return. He was capable of illusions and mental manipulations. I'm not certain he's actually dead. As a matter of fact, I don't believe he is. I don't believe so either. But did you kill him? I certainly did. In my heart, I struck out and <laughs> slew him. Oh, such honesty. Mercy. What about you? The other one? <laughs> Strike? <laughs> Strike? <laughs> I forgot your one. name! We... Uh, <laughs> what about you, Strike? Did you kill Pastor Robinson? If we... If I did... Then I did. Did you want to? Did you try to? Yes. And I... Well, did you stand up, Cliff? You gotta roll, man. Um, I, I yeah. did. Oh, yes, I gotta roll, sorry. On a ten. And I'm going I like with, it. Um, I'm going with the cynical. Yeah, I'm. I'm not trusting his truth that Pat that that we actually killed a Pastor Robinson or that we're responsible yeah. for his death. Uh, and in in and in response, I got you both to admit that you did. Uh, he will continue on that you at least tried to. He will continue on. He will. Uh, he will look at Bell. And he will say, Bell, thank you for your honesty. I want to ask you, in your opinion, are you hopeful for the world? And remember, you sold out to Cynical. So you have to ask. Ah. I'm sorry, I didn't realize did that. Uh, I didn't realize that Prism Shard gave us, gave the click a reroll. Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> you! That's cheating! <laughs> and we're also 50 points away from the stream boss being defeated no. again. There's no rules anywhere that prevents you, us. I've been giving us fucking real rules over the past one. So. Mm -hmm. Motherfuckers. <laughs> Authority goes to log into Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. did, did you drink the the... Oh, okay. Yeah, Bell is all truth all the time. Oh, man. <laughs> okay. As things stand, no. I'm not hopeful at all. Unless things change dramatically, I truly believe that humanity will soon be extinct. See, folks, I just it just makes me so sad with that sort of hopelessness. I just... I just wish things were different. No, nothing good can be accomplished with that sort of hopelessness. And I will claim number seven and number six. Oh, I love those numbers. Just so close together. Oh, <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Palmer just became gonna... our stream boss. <laughs> Gee whiz, man. Palmer. Beats Edge Scrim out by like this much. Um. All right, so so we left off on the authority saying they got uh, me to admit that I have no hope for um, how things are going. The, the way I phrased it was never mind. I'm not I'm not responding at this point. So yeah. yeah so who's gonna stand up and uh, and sort of respond? Me. Okay. Well. Click got a reroll. Thank you. Eleven. You should use your reroll right now. <laughs> and then we can count on you, Palmer. I'm fine on eleven. His authority isn't on eleven, so. <laughs> I never doubted uh, you. I'm gonna use trusted. Uh, step Ooh. forward and stare down the cardinal. And it's like brought us here to tell our truth. We came. We agreed. Cause we have fucking hope. Just because he's cynical of things today doesn't mean he's cynical of tomorrow. He's cynical of things today because how things have gone down, how you've treated all of us. I was sitting at the high of my prime on the stupid ass pure ID and look where that got me. Absolutely nowhere, but I've still found myself friend. I've still my found myself in a good place. The question is, what do you all get out of this, really? Why don't one of you come down here and drink this truth water? I'm drinking it. Why aren't you? Truth water? What are you talking about? You're just drinking holy water that compels you to speak the truth. Holy water, whatever you want to call it. Shouldn't it compel well, you as you well? Me, 
if you want me to drink holy water, I, I absolutely will. And he says, so, you know, does anyone have any holy water? And of course, people Alice, go up. Alice holds up a drink, which she had uncorked her little vial in and already pulled in. Got a glass down here, Cardinal. Come on down and talk with us. Fine. Be friendly. I would, I would love to drink this holy water. And he, he just drinks it, going back to his normal business. <clears throat> and his next question is... So wait, so understanding, Cardinal drank Alice's holy water, which the was, stuff which that was I had. holy water. It was actually truth water. Yeah. Okay. I'm sure that it'll be all. It'll be fine. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, sure nothing, I'm sure no plot developments will happen as a result of that later. Um, he uh, looks at Cassie, uh, and he says, "My dear, it is it is clear that you." that you want to do the right thing. And as a result, you have taken a lot of risks, but be honest. Aren't you helpless without the unity of all? Don't you feel like you stepping out on your own makes you helpless? Being alone breaks down everything good about yourself? I didn't drink that fucking water. <laughs> um, I guess. So, do I stand up, or do you claim stuff for it? I don't uh, you, know if I'm uh, my or not. I will claim. Uh, if you didn't drink the water, I didn't. Then you don't have to answer or answer truthfully. So, uh, it's up to you how you respond. But I will take uh, number two. <clears throat> okay. Um. I felt more helpless with the unity of all than I have felt since I found my friends and my purpose. He responds back, I, and he, he see his eyes kind of narrow and he says, I believe you. <clears throat> and he kind of shakes it off and says, uh, um, <clears throat> uh, you there, Alice, uh, is it true that you like to burn things down and that you've burned at least two buildings, some with people in them? <laughs> and I will claim number three. Nope, I guess number 12. Oh. Don't you laugh at me again. <laughs> I'm <laughs> Did you drink the water by any chance? I did not. That's too bad, because that would have been I know. Awesome. Um, oh, shoot. Somebody's standing up. Well, if you want to. You didn't drink it's the water, being, so you don't yeah, have to answer. directed to and, either of you. Oh, so. well. I mean, it's being directed towards but, Alice. So does that mean I have to stand up, though, or... Should I just no, stand? you don't have to. You can just okay. not do anything. But somebody needs to stand up, or else this gets real boring real quick. Okay. Uh, I guess Belle's gonna step up if she doesn't like is, is isn't forced to step. I mean, like step Katie, you should get first called. Yeah. If you want to. Um, but if you don't, well, I literally just stood up. Oh, um, do it. Ah, fuck recently. it. Standing up. Why not? Sure. Okay. Fuck for the giggles. No, at it all. It can be your fault. Shit. Six. <laughs> fuck. Reroll. <laughs> God damn it. Yay! Nine. There we go. Nine. Okay. That's a good one. I'm gonna use know it all. I'm just gonna give him a look. I'm like, really? Buildings with people in it? I love how you left out all the details about how they were dead people. There were charnel houses where you left people that were suffering from the tears of unity to die, and that we were being held there against our fucking will, and that we were left to die as well. Yeah, I burned him down in an attempt to escape. But hey, I guess the people inside were already dead, but they were already dead to you weeks ago before you even fucking find them to their fate. But please, continue to spin the truth to your advantage. He responds, that's... And he shakes his head. That, that's... <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> Charnel house. <laughs> uh, speak up, Next I can't question. quite hear you. Next no, no. question. Come on, speak up. Can't hear you, Cardinal. Yeah, this is supposed to be an open discussion. Let's talk. 
Why don't no, you this answer? isn't a discussion. You need, no, you, you need know to what answer. this is. No. Everyone knows this is your. You gave us the confession. opportunity to come up here and do Did whatever you hear that? we wanted. He turns to the crowd and he says, "What I is this it. crowd?" And they say, "Confession." Let's hear the confession of this one then. And I gesture to the robot. I don't know if we're stepping up or what phase uh, we're in at I this will... point. Anymore. Well, no. Give me a second. <laughs> well, no, to, the authority. To the authority needs to out. take. Yeah, the authority needs to take a control. Uh, uh, and, and at this point, the um. Sorry, everybody get me carried starts, away. Sh- sh- no, it's fine. Everybody starts shouting you down, and you know, confess, confess, confess. Uh, and then he 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 quickly moves on uh, and says, um, uh, "Strike with this uh, invisibility power that was given to you by." evil men uh you like using it for wrong reasons don't you and you can tell that he's he's starting to sweat like things are not going as planned on his end i'm gonna stand up before mm. strike gets to answer okay uh let me uh, i'll take uh, number three i believe right yeah yeah okay all right go ahead <laughs> four Oh man, we're gonna fill the board up again. Oh, fuck. <laughs> There's only two spots left, right? That's Five and eight. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Hey, so, do you guys have um, any rerolls left? Yeah. yeah we, have we have one. one. We each have oh, one. Oh my gosh, guys. All right. All right. Um, I'm going. Help us. I feel like I'm going to. I'm gonna use my my trust issues, and uh, be like, and. What do you use your power for, other than to deceive and lie? You didn't Uh, tell us what we were really here for. We use our power to control and manipulate and lie. Run an orderly society. He can tell he's very constant. He's concentrating very hard to prevent war. To make everyone and you, unified. And how do you do that? You can't. He can't. He'll, he'll stop talking. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you have to win in order to get anything out of yep, this guy. Yep. Uh, so he will... Uh, let's see. What will happen here? Um, the crowd... Oh, no. I know what I'll do. The... Um, uh, Lenor will step to the mic, and Lenor will throw her uh, her hood back, revealing her <laughs> robotic steel, robotic cylinder head, and uh, she will speak with with the uh, with the woman's voice, and she'll say, "I know the truth." And everybody's gasping, like they they don't know what the heck's going on. What what is that thing? Is that like a like a it robot bells- from a comic book? Bell's gesturing as if he's just produced this robot. As, <laughs> as he's like, you know, on stage and like now, now presenting, and as if you know, he somehow conjured this situation. Uh, she is. She says, "I'm about to tell you something that is impossible to believe, but you must. I will tell you the true nature of the Cardinals and the unity of all." And all of a sudden, she blows up. And I will <gasps> claim number five. No! Oh my gosh. Because I'm loop. evil. Clap your hands <laughs> if you think that evilness is the truth. Uh, I'm going to stand evil. up. I'm okay. standing up. So upon seeing an explosion, Strike needs to move a two. <clears throat> Roll that eight. Oh. Yeah, boy! Uh, I know what that is. You got no rerolls. We do have we a got reroll. One. We've got one. So sell out or re-roll, I don't care. <laughs> fuck, fuck you, because he's going to make Let a re-roll. See. Let me see, hold on. You use it, he's going to make you use it, man. He's I know. make you re-roll. Yeah, yeah, Only yeah. if he lands on a good space. Let me see, uh, perverse, nihilistic, untrustworthy is what I could sell out to. Either one in front of a giant crowd, I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah, I'll use the re-roll. <laughs> but... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, this is this is too much stress on a Monday night. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. Here we this go. This is living, Katie. Eight. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Eight. 
Yeah, oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Um so this is a weird one because it is my turn. Did we maybe un do we maybe do this wrong or no? Uh, oh no, I, I guess so. no, no? Yeah, we were... there's a correct I number don't... on each side. I just don't know what to do. There's a there's a rule for this somewhere in the book. What? Yeah. I think maybe we skipped. We might have skipped you or something because usually it ends with the authority getting the last number, unless we like rolled one of first... your numbers. Uh, the authority gets one more than than us, uh, so yeah, which is the seven. But like, usually. Um, they only get one number if we roll one of their starting numbers. Like if we rolled a seven, for example, right? And we didn't think get we might seven. Have... Well, so so it is possible that that happens. So what is that rule? I'm gonna find it. Um... Well, it's talk about what you want to do. Yeah, right. Um... Gosh, hold on. No, we need to know this. All right. Um, I'm going to use my a really weird situation that only happens once in sixty games. So it turns <laughs> out something very strange. Except when we have re rolls. Right? It's so effing annoying that it's barely worth talking about. But sooner or later, someone's going to run into it, and this is the at least way I can say I told you so. So here it goes. If the young uh, blah, 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 um the little ball. So it will be the authority's turn to take action, but you won't have any open spaces to put down more markers. So have the authority take action like it would anyway, but don't put down a marker. After you narrate what the authority is doing, ask who's standing up, but remember you're not putting down a marker. Oh, well, that's boring. Just, oh. I don't, I don't put down a number. Okay, go ahead, do your do your thing. All right. Pause. Uh, I'm going upon an explosion i think this is the the time to uh should i go in viz oh man i'm like between going in viz or like what do i see around me real quick before i make this decision you see uh your friends on the dais um further towards your right on the dais, quite a ways, uh, maybe 20, 30 feet away, uh, is uh, one of the cardinals, uh, and then a sort of football field uh, buffer between you and some stands full of thousands of people. Okay. So at the very least, we're in front of thousands of people, so we know like we're not just being broadcast to nobody. You are uh, also being broadcast. There's like, you know, cameras and whatnot, but um, great and giant TVs and people. shit. Yeah. So um, Palmer says, "Reveal your graffiti." Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, I was between that like or that. sneaking, sneaking around and doing something. Um, but yeah, no, I think, I think it's time. Uh, we're gonna, yeah, let's, let's go with shit starter, or should we go thrills? I guess either would work. You know what? Yeah, no, shit starter's fine. Let's do it. So this explosion fucking rocks the house. And at this point, that's when um, Strike says, now! And he like throws off his jacket and under his jacket, it's just like spreads out into giant fucking like angel wings. And everybody else has the same like, has the same, um, stuff like that was his art piece because he couldn't like roll it in right so like we are the art piece and mm -hmm. we like fucking fan out and it's a um it is it is a scene of i think it's just i think it should just be wording i think it's like unity can't be unity if it's against unity I'm gonna bring it right back to that. And we have a... We are standing united and each of the wings um, have like in them hands that are, are made to like, just like hold onto each other. Um, so that we, so that we could kind of like just be like linked together in the in the art piece. Um, 
It's so beautiful. It is so awesome. <laughs> it's your best work yet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, everybody sees this and they are certifiably awed or confused, <laughs> depending on uh, what where they're where they've been going with this. And um, the cardinal just says that. He says, that is really cool. (laughs) 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 I can't help but say that you have incredible talent and I am um, impressed and frustrated that you are on my dais when I wanted you to confess and instead you are being an exhibitionist. So what I want to really ask you is this. When you decide to murder people's life, murder people's life, when you decide to murder people and take their life, do you feel like that is a worthy action to take if you get what you want? And I will claim all the ones I've claimed. (laughs) And also, did you need to kill that poor robot? What? What? Whatever thing that was. You get. Ask him the form of a question. He's not technically lying. Uh, and now you are compelled to tell the truth. Strike. I don't need to say anything. You drink the and water. That- I say that out loud. I don't need to say anything, oh. and that's the truth. <laughs> All right, who's going to stand up? Bell. Yeah, I guess I'll stand up. It's, this, uh, is it's moment. Moment. Right, this, this is your moment. This is your moment. This is it. Seven. Oh, no. We have no re-rolls. No. You're going to have to sell out, buddy. Come this on. is your time yeah. to shine. You need to do it. Too. That robot was annihilated because it, had, it knows your truth, man. I just feel it. I'm oh gonna... my god, if he sells out the alien one. <laughs> oh my god. No, that I'm ends the game. Himself. He can't sell out his disorder. Oh, that's right, he can't. I'm gonna sell out cool for trendy. <laughs> oh, I'm just gonna roll with the show. It'd be like, because he was a fucking. He loves being on the radio too much. Yep. And I can't lie and try to claim it. I'm just going to say that was a badass special effect. Killing a robot just for a badass special effect. That's fucking awesome because we're fucking awesome. We're the coolest badass people around here. You can't shut us down. You can. You're going to have to kill us to do it. But you know, you know what you are deep down. Come on, tell us what you are deep down. Spit it out. Answer the question. One for one. I'll be honest. Yeah, I killed the pastor. I don't regret it. I'd do it again. <laughs> answer your fucking question now, Cardinal. We're aliens who took over the peaceful, gelinous society and constructed one of our own where we can control the Earth. I knew it! I knew it! <laughs> God damn it! I fucking knew it! Ring of Truth! Last episode! Peace to everyone! Peace out, motherfucker! <laughs> Alex just fucking oh, like what? So boring, I'm doing a dance and then a pose. And walks off stage. Right? It was all fucking aliens this whole time! He's just gonna like scream through the smiling. stage with his wings. Uh, Alright, so we're yeah. in there. Thank uh, you all for attending this very special final episode of Ring of Peace. I've officially right. fucking retired. I fucking quit. I You're quit. The best. I You're fucking quit. The best. Nope. I love you all. No, fuck <laughs> aliens. Nope. Fuck all right. that out. That was the nope. scene five. Now we're back to scene six. And I believe that uh, Cliff is the one who's oh, going to fuck. choose an authority figure or a question and start us off. So, wait, to, to reiterate, what was just revealed? They are aliens and what? They are aliens. They conquered the peaceful Jillinist society and turned it into a society where they could control everyone. Alien. Great. And now, scene six. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> which, which is officially answering the question and uh, seeing who wins. 
I think I'd like to ask uh, Unity, how are you coping with this shit? <laughs> how do you cope not, with this shit? Not well. Not well. I am All right. in shock. <laughs> so describe the opening five minutes. Uh, the people in the stands are just like, they can't believe what just happened. They're going, they're starting to like, it's seeming like they're going to start panicking and like, they might trample each other in like total absolute panic, or they might start cheering and like doing something useful. We don't know. It could be a tipping point one way or another, but it looks like it started to get dangerous. Uh, Belle is just laughing wildly and smiling to the cameras and just feeling <laughs> absolutely fucking vindicated. Um, the Cardinals just sort of standing there like, ah, oh, fuck. Um, not sure uh, what the others are doing at this point. Probably Strike is, is, Strike is gonna, coming. sorry, like, Strike is gonna lunge towards one of the cameras, and he's just gonna grab it off the tripod and say, you heard it here, folks! Fucking aliens! <laughs> I'm just gonna start selfie camming my way through. Alright, um, the, um, uh, Cardinals, previously unseen, uh, begin flying in, uh, and they have sort of a, a weaponry that you have not seen, and they begin shooting at you. And I'm just gonna go ahead and immediately call for a struggle. What they want to do is kill you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, Since this is the last episode, if I kill you all, I win. And then uh, I get to do the scene, scene seven all myself. Oh, you get to write our eulogy, their pastor, yeah. pastor we'll out No, we'll do a, a flashback scene in which you guys get to, like, do something. But so I would like to note that we have no re-rolls to defend ourselves during this. <laughs> and I have one. It's fine. And I have one. All right. So the goal is to kill us. Our hope is to um, fucking take down the fucking patriarchy. <laughs> Do we want to. It's all, it's all here in one in one group. We want to kill them, right? Spot. Are we yeah. gonna kill them? Or are kill we gonna the Are we gonna try and just get away? I think our goal should be to more or less overthrow, like, get other people besides just us involved in helping, and like the yeah. people don't just stampede and kill each other and you know flee like a bunch of angry rabid dogs. They actually turn out to be cool people and like rush to our assistance. Yeah. Hey, thanks, Scram. It's not just light us. it on fire. We get to light you on fire. Well, she does. Probably shock something. Alright, so who's gonna stand up? <sighs> Peekaboo, guess who? <laughs> 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 Struggling! Land me on that five and I'm gonna start lighting some motherfuckers up. There is no way I'm not using pyrotechnics on this shit. I am burning some motherfuckers straight out of the sky. My fucking day is done. I've done- I've had it with aliens. I'm like, fuck it, I don't care. You fuck you, fuck you, fuck all of you, and I just fucking unleash just fucking a torrent of fire and just scream at the top of my lungs, just fucking die. Going just... on. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <God>. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> that works too. <laughs> so yeah, fire. And I fucking just huge, shoot this huge cone up in the air aiming at a massive group of cardinals. Or the biggest cluster of them, anyways. Uh, you hit directly um, and, and scatter them. Some of them look like they're, they're damaged. Um, some of them may not. You're not able to tell because they also fell out of the sky and landed and... and are the like they're, they're hurting, yeah. Like you actually totally, totally mangled them uh, with a direct hit, and and they all are now a little bit scared. The crowd is a little bit scared, uh, and it looks like the crowd has no interest in in watching. Uh, well, no interest in being hit by uh, stray weaponry or stray powers, and so they're starting to uh, stampede. Um, and there's really nowhere for them to go, and so they're all. They look like they're in danger. And I will claim <gasps> number seven. And number I don't know where am I at? Number nine. 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 Damn it. All I have are fifty-six bits, but they're coming in there. <laughs> 
uh, a a a cardinal uh, takes a, a shot and uh, wings Bell in the leg, and he he drops down. <clears throat> ah, uh, shit! Can't quite tell right now how bad it is, but it hurts like hell. Who's gonna stand up? What did he wing him with? Uh, one of their rifles. All right. Uh, like a, an energy weapon, I should say. Like a, an energy okay. weapon is discharged uh, and it burns. Well, I would stand up, but I've been shot in the leg. So. <laughs> so I'll Bell, stand up. You can't stand up. I'll stand up. I'll stand up. Okay. Dick seven. Womp, 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 and we have no re rolls, guys. Uh, like literally, this just okay. So I'm gonna have to sell well, that out. Was good. I'm gonna no. I'm gonna fucking sell out. Yeah, there's there's no there's no getting around this. You either no. sell out or you or you lose and die. Or yeah, we die. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, thrills, oh man, man. Eric, Eric, fucking too late. Thrills. <laughs> We're still a little bit short, but oh uh, man. Uh, well, thrills going to nihilistic. I don't feel like that's appropriate. I think right now the best sellout is obviously from bad to perverse. Oh. Mm. Let me change it here on our screen for our <laughs> lovely audience at home. All right, so let's fucking tear shit up. I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'm gonna go in viz, pull out the uh, the bow and arrow that I stole from oh, what's her face. from Victory, the horseman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm just gonna start mowing these motherfuckers down right in the dick. <laughs> you know, bow, bow, bow. Just start knocking them down. And I say, fucking wreck everything. And I'm like, and I'm taking uh, my spray cans and I'm using the pyrotechnics that Kate, that uh, that Alice is using, and I'm just making it shoot even further to fucking knock everything down. I am just tearing it up. I'm I've basically called for nothing but absolute anarchy and murder and mayhem among like at these things. And yeah, it is absolutely starting. A few of your arrows go wild uh, and and land not in the crowd, you know, not hitting people, but too close to the crowd for comfort, and so. It is it is chaotic and and awful and and people are starting to get hurt and you sort of kind of like and, it. Bell's screaming <laughs> and like pain and rage and just this sort of like a uh, sympathetic vibe with his uh, you know buddy he's been going through all this with and just unleashes an Emperor Palpatine strike against the uh, guy on stage. Who, is that uh, your standing up? Thing. No. Okay, you're, already just, won. you're just narrating. Yeah. Oh, that's right, you did. I'm just narrating the mayhem. Nice. It's all nice. out, I'll see. Oh, man. Uh, do any of you else want to want to narrate um, how you how you handle the situation? Oh, I'm um, still just fucking burning shit as I go. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm um, seeing that apparently they all have the violence well handled. I'm going to go. F I'm, I'm dashing out to open up all of the security, like the um, the security doors, the emergency exits, everything to to find the. Basically, the the keyboard system, or the what do you call that? The the operating system, so I can just have all of the doors open all at once, so more people can get out without having to have a disaster. So like opening up all the gates, so people can come down into the stadium, so they can exit the thing safely, so not everybody's being trampled. So I'm trying to save the rest of these people while they take out the the bad guy aliens. <laughs> you're, 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 you're a slip of a. Your keyboard on there just has me like imagining a security rigger that like controls everything yeah, by playing exactly. yeah. melodies on like, synthesis. It's like, uh, I don't know. This one. Boom. Okay, there we go. I know. Um, <laughs> I go to grab Bell and stand him up. Ah, come on, man. Now's our fucking time. In the aftermath, um, the Cardinals, some of them are dead. Uh, do you want to make a point of killing all of them? Nah, that's no. overdoing it. Is it? Yes. We we just won on perverse. Ah, uh, you know what? You you can go have your murder rampage. Well, then. I mean, like one of your things was we want to kill them. That was one of your yeah. goals. So yeah, overthrow. you know what? Our hope was to overthrow. We won on perverse. Like it has to have the consequence of the fact that we sold out. Like we yeah. have to. Yeah, mm -hmm. we're going. Balls I think 
a number of them are picked up and carried away by the by the masses. It could be that some of them are lost as a future plot hook. That's fine, but the ones that you are able to deal with, yeah. uh, the ones that are that are reasonably left, you you kill them. Is what I'm hearing. Yeah. yeah and okay. basically, Strike is you know, whenever he can, he's hoisting up the camera and he's just like, ah, yeah. Okay. And just so, like so he's dead because he's got a. In the aftermath of this, in the immediate aftermath of this, once things have calmed down and you're able to take a breath, um, Unity, you have tried over and over and over again to do the right thing. And it, this was clearly not the right thing for you. So yeah. how are you, like, this, this was, this was excessive and awful and the reason that you tried to open the gates is because you saw what you caused was you know this mass terror and and you're feeling you're feeling weird about that i want to unpack how you're handling not just all of this but you're very young and you're very wanting to believe the right thing and your friends are the ones who are doing an awful lot of the stuff that you don't like so Take a second and narrate us through what's going on with uh, with Unity. Like, so, at first, it's like the moment where, oh my God, is this happening? And you, you, the, you, like, freeze, frozen as I watch like the firestorm. I see these guys coming down, shooting at us, shooting at who, like anyone. They just random violence. And I see that, like, yeah, that, you know, you know it's that strike is almost reveling in it, and not almost like is reveling in it, and that Alice is just screaming with rage as fire, and that my that Bell is just it, like you said, Emperor palpitating it all over the place, and that, but there's all these people, all these people are scared. And they don't understand what's happening. Their whole world is crashing around them, and all they're seeing violence and terror, and that's not fair to them. And so I can't, in good conscience, be like help you all murder people. With it, like it's just so I uh, I do what I can to help the the people that I can because like nobody else is gonna do it apparently. So. She's pretty, she's pretty hurt. Okay, so she's dealing with all of this stuff uh, by not dealing with it. She's just she's pretty like she I, right now, like it's in the up. moment. It's just pushed. It has it's pushed aside in the in the way that like maybe one day you know sh maybe she'll come back to it in an hour. Or maybe she'll come back to it in a week. Maybe after this, she's probably going to tr figure out what her next path is if if this is how they're they're gonna keep moving forward like maybe the, and then like the the very in the very back of of her mind like as, as all this is happening is just like maybe we made this worse hmm. all right we'll end that scene there yeah and we're into scene seven uh <laughs> this is gonna be a fun one oh boy because <laughs> Because we only have authority figures left. <laughs> and we have Victory, the White Horseman, <laughs> and Journey Jenkins. <laughs> Sounds and... like it's Journey fucking Jenkins time! <laughs> yeah, right. Well, it's uh, Oz who gets to pick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um... And it would also be nice if somehow we can deal with a system of control. Yeah. Um, I mean, we can hand wave it after if we have to, but I think it, it works nicely if we use this part to <clears throat> to fold it in. Yeah, I'm... Uh, so, I could. I could go Journey <laughs> Jenkins. The other option was Victory, the the white... The one who the white wants horseman. her... Yeah, she, who would want her bow you, back. You just used her bow to murder a bunch of her, her overlords. Yeah. Um... I think I'm gonna go with. I think I'm gonna go with victory. She okay. wants her bow back, man. Yeah. Okay. Uh, then describe to us uh, the next <clears throat> scene. I remember this doesn't have to be right away. This could be 
This could be any time after. No, I think I think um, I think now in the midst of all of this burning electric chaos, which is all just embers and slow motion around us with um, the definitely Bell, Alice, and Strike together and Unity maybe like off in the distance not with us um, I want to just heave a sigh of relief and say I it's hard for me to care and I don't know if that makes me a bad person or not who are you talking to to Bell and Alice Alice kind of goes over to strike and kind of just gives him a nudge with the shoulder. Got us. Yeah, Is that something? What, what are you talking about, man? You, you care all the time. I look in the distance. It's... Sorry, you're on. I look you're... in the distance. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I just, just grip my injury on my leg and look, oh, this fucking hurts. Um, in the distance, I see, um, I see Unity, but I want to know, like, what she looks like. Um, she is very small, like, almost, like, childlike, especially in the distance. Um, she's, uh, currently, uh, walking back through, uh, one of the double doors that, um, she open past people that are kind of knocking into her shoulders and just like looking down trying to you know figure out like very small and she'll, she'll look up at, over to the, th the three of you and you s even from here you see hurt and confusion and like does she turn around does she walk out with the rest of the people strike's gonna move towards unity um and uh he's gonna just fan out his thing and just got big unity scrawled on it and just kind of like he's just giving like a maybe oh so she sees that and she looks over her shoulder at the the people that are still running by and you see like her wiping of tears off of her face <sighs> And in her head, she remembers, like, the the conversation where, with the cardinals, saying that sometimes you have to choose to trust. And so she begins walking forward towards three of you and towards Strike, and as she gets there, your arms are still kind of, like, holding this sign as she stands in front of you <sighs> I, don't, I don't know what I'm doing here and I just <sighs> I just can't just immediately <laughs> hug her I don't either I'm so sorry And she puts and she hugs him uh, and just like buries her her head in his chest and is uh, you know cries so, you know she wants to believe and she wants her friends to 
she wants her friends. She doesn't want to be alone anymore. And and she, as much as it hurts right now, she has to trust and believe that that they're there for her. That they'll be there for her. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, and, um, Belle comes up, uh, kind of with a makeshift crutch and tries to do the group hug kind of thing. <laughs> Alice makes her way to, kind of kneels down in front of her. All right, we're all here. Got yeah. us. It's over. And it's at that moment that Victory is making her way down towards us. Um, and I see her on the corner of my eye, and I, like, break the hug. And I pull my, my bows and my, the bow and the, and the arrows, and, uh, I just toss them at my feet, giving them back to her. She continues walking down, grabs the bow, and uh, just walks away. Rather anticlimactic. She stops maybe 20 feet away, almost like she's going to turn around, decides better of it. And just kind of shakes her head and continues to walk away. I kind of wonder what's going through her mind right now. I know what I'd be thinking. <laughs> N- nobody wants to know what? what oh. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's like, it's how you hear, like, my- <laughs> inside of, like, well, church, okay. church jacket. What? Okay, she's like a, you know, super powered foot soldier for, you know, alien overlords, but they gave her a bow and arrows? I mean, I think a ray gun or something, right? Oh my god, that everything's out of a sci-fi book. (laughs) (sighs) Um, I kind of expected her to, uh... Shoot back. Uh, and just as you say that, you see an arrow coming towards you. Oh! Strike doesn't move. Uh, arrow starts. lands. Arrow lands right in front of you. Uh, it's got a note attached. Oh. Pick up I'll... the note. Scare the shit out of me. Yeah. <laughs> it says. I thought you would be better than this. P. And you definitely recognize that. That's what you used to call your sister Penny. I recognize her handwriting too, I'm sure. Yeah. And you look up and uh, victory is gone. That was a little. <laughs> the authority, oh, holy sh- the authority yeah. gets in your head, man. Yeah. Oh. Um, who's who's Pete? Like just the, the letter. Um, yeah. The 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 problem here is, uh, as somebody noted in chat, that there is a power vacuum now. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna call a struggle. Uh. What I want... (laughs) I feel so bad wanting this after this uh, scene seven. (laughs) I feel like I I should be like, nah, the authority gives up. That was sweet. Um, (laughs) But what I want is to have somebody who is charismatic, high up in the system, but not one of the cardinals, uh, accuse them of being demon-possessed, blame the aliens on demon possession, uh, like like Journey Jenkins has been saying forever, and uh, 
and to take over and slide into those positions of power and it will go on as if nothing happened. Just maybe with one less system of control. What would you guys like? Um, if we're talking to about into fucking a riot, I mean, like revolt. I mean, if we're talking about finding a better way to do things than having, <clears throat> I mean, like, if, if there's oh, there's really only a few ways you can fill power vacuums in real life, and not, and most of them aren't great. So. Yep. And you guys particularly made the decision to to go big and, and to overthrow and to kill people. So Ooh. you were not thinking about the easy transition into a peaceful replacement of government. So <laughs> so we got to think hard. What do we want? Um, like, I... Anarchy. Um, I think, yeah, I think anarchy is, well... You mean chaos? Let's get our oh, pure fucking back. anarchy, like overthrowing the entire fucking government. Anarchy. Well, like yeah, anarchy uh, doesn't necessarily need to be chaotic or violent. It just means that you have a different form of government that's not coercive. It's that there is no. <laughs> but if you mean chaos, then just say chaos. <laughs> well, I think I mean actual anarchy, like where there's no like central, rather decentralized. Uh, power not like yeah, super no consolidated yeah, I mean, everything's if you want the same judging you if you want the unity of all to collapse into nothing you know yes. however many different small sects yeah. doing their own thing like that's that will probably happen in the very short term anyway but what i want is to somebody have somebody come in and and unify it again very shortly yeah I'd, 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 I'd like, like to Sorry, go I mean, I think that it would be nice to have, I guess, uh, you know, a leadership that doesn't re involve religion. Like, leadership for the, you know, the betterment of all, not the unity of all. Okay, so you want whatever happens for it to just not be religious-based oppression. Okay. And how do we? Okay. Yeah, I mean, uh, I don't so know. Let's... I don't know how we do it. Um, right. But that's but... our hope. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, whatever. <laughs> All right. So watch this. This is going to be scene seven montage. Um, what happens is when you leave, uh, immediately there is chaos in the streets, and people are accusing everybody else of being an alien. Oh no. Who's going to oh. stand up? If nobody stands up, I win automatically. Oh. Uh, <laughs> shit. Me. Fucking standing up. Christ. Okay. <sighs> Starting off with the nine again. Nine's good. Yeah. Go big this uh, time. Like, you don't have to do, like, small individual stuff. You can kind of narrate, like, well, montage style. Yeah. Well, Alice. If you want to go, feels... like, work out in a field, you know, by, like, lifting bales of hay and, you know, <laughs> fine. I work out. Okay, cool. I'll choose number 12. Just kidding. Go ahead. <laughs> um, well, Alice is going to try to fucking bring some calm in the peace. I mean, using her, I'm going to use trusted, like, as as a still somewhat trusted figure, somehow, some way. Like, she's just going to, mm. I don't know, broadcast a message to the people over the radio with Bell's help. Like, you know, keep strong. <laughs> Love thy neighbor sort of thing. Like, just anything to try to calm the 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 hatred that's out there just any sort of calming notion of band together vote for your leaders bring 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 your community <clears throat> together just any sort of overall try and and making her way from from place to place offering help with 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 small settlements that probably have developed from cities splitting up right you have an impact you have some following because everybody saw what happened. Everybody saw what went down. Um, but we're still talking about a patriarchal, patriarchal society here, and you are still a teenager. So you have a very, very vocal pushback on what you say. Um, 
nobody's going to accept you as their leader in a lot of these places, but you still have people listening to you in every place as well. So your 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 words uh, and, and along with Bell, whatever he's doing concurrently, um, are reaching ears, and you do have a consistent audience that is growing, but you are not having an immediate effect on the power structures. Okay. In the meantime, uh, you find that there's two factions, uh, two main factions of the former unity of all. Uh, one group is basically just trying to slide in, uh, you know, using this sort of demon uh, alien angle and trying to replace them right off the bat. The other is basically saying this was the Lord's judgment on us for being evil and for not doing what we were called to do in the first place. And so there is a sort of reform movement that is also springing up. Uh, you don't know where it's going, but that's that's the uh, uh, that's the the chatter. And I'll claim seven and two. I think two. Yes. Yeah, seven and two. Who's standing up next? Mm, I'll stand up. Okay. Um, so, uh, I'm going to use my eidetic memory to begin, uh, to be rewriting history texts, like, like, um, whatever you call it, that when you, uh, scribe. yeah, basically scribing over, um, history texts. And, and she's making a, a clear point to to do all histories, not just, you know, ones that she thinks are appropriate because she is wanting to give the, the people who want to read um, them, and hopefully there are people, to, uh, uh, to have a, a good, you know, to, to become educated and, choo- and choose what they think is the right path to take, so... You are uh, honored as well because of your role in the events. Uh, it came out uh, not too far afterwards that you actually were responsible for saving a bunch of those people in the stadium. Um, and many parents, uh, spouses, um, family members, friends of people who were saved uh, listened to you because they believe that both sides were wrong and you were the only one willing to save people instead of hurting people. So you're actually having quite an impact in a different way, um, but your impact won't really be known and fully observed until uh, the new generation is trained with those new books. Uh, The uh, weeks turned into um, months and um, Journey Jenkins appears as one of the leading people on the side of uh, replacing the uh, former cardinals. She's a leader in this new movement to um, to basically keep going with things as they were. Uh, the one reform that she's made is that women can be leaders. Uh, of course, that works out for her because she's a woman and she really wants to have that position of authority. Um, so it seems like she's kind of also playing to the reform crowd, but at the same time... Uh, whether she believes it or not, she does seem to be grabbing for the power. And I will claim number 12. You have a nice balanced rocket ship of a board right now. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of interesting boards. Yeah. I, I can't believe we filled the up. board up twice tonight. That's so crazy. Yeah, right. Uh, okay. Three. Bill, are you going to stand up? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Let's uh, do this, guys. Let's do this all night. Let's do, let's, uh, let's fill the board. So I'm gonna do trendy. I I I up my game on my podcasting. I do like different broadcast stuff. I I'm able to draw in a number of different popular artists. So I have like you know more production on it. Um, I've got there's there's, there, there's a lot more like like it's about three fourths just like pomp and circumstance and cool stuff and sponsorship messages and stuff like that. And like the rest is like, you know, core, you know, truth level stuff. Most of it's, um, guess what, what really gets me going again, just, just really starts to pull me out of like the, 
just kind of slump of like, well, you know, everybody knows it's aliens is 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 now seeing the rise of this and journey jenkins at the top of it so so i start getting pissed off and really motivated to uh uh try to tear her down i focus a lot of my energies to energy towards uh you know exposing different uh, things that she uh says is untrue or uh you're trying to undermine her any way i can so you're, you're basically taking uh journey jenkins on word for word whenever you can yep I, I, I don't really want to, like, rise to the top myself. I, I remember being in that position of power and, like, I had to kill all those aliens to save the world, but, you know, I don't really want to bring out that part of myself so much. I don't trust myself with power, so I'm just going to try to prevent the wrong people from from getting it. Um, to that end, I'm also going to um, definitely play up my fame uh, I know a lot of people are pissed off at me and hate me because they were on the other side of things, but a lot of people are my fans now, and I, I play that up and just over the top, you know, is try to pimp my celebrity aspect as much as I possibly can uh, to get fame and wealth. <laughs> <laughs> and, of course, to have the voice to be able to shut down, um, you know, people like uh, Jink. So altogether, I kind of made it through, but I'm not like the optimistic or actually cool deep down person. I'm kind of damaged underneath. I kind of got what I wanted, but paid a high price for it. In the uh, aftermath of things, the uh, the confession uh, system is recognized to be easily coerced um, and perhaps not as... Uh, uh, not as foolproof and not as helpful as it once was. However, mandatory church attendance uh, and tithing have have gone way up as, as far as ways to um, judge the worthiness and the piety of people. Not everybody is going to church anymore, but those that do are becoming more and more focused on uh, external things to prove their goodness. And I will choose... 11, which thankfully only happens in these games. In real life, we don't have to worry about that stuff. <laughs> uh, okay, then. Who will stand up? Me. Okay. So sad about Seven. It. Want, want. Um, yeah, so this is going to be a... We think Eric gave us a reroll. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he gave Bell the reroll, but... You don't mind I'll use it. Uh here we go. Ten. Woo. Oh my gosh. Fill that void. That's just as bad, right? Yeah. <laughs> no. No, no, no. Oh we took eleven last time, never mind. Yeah. Um and I'm going to I'm going to use my uh, invasive invisibility um, to basically spy on the people that are running all of these different like, oh, we want to help and we want to be good and let's measure how good we are. And I'm basically just going into their homes, digging up all the dirt I possibly can and blasting it and exposing them as hypocrites. Oh yeah, you have a segment on my show, of course. Of course. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> so, and basically just completely undermining the whole thing and spouting a philosophy of we can't we can't keep putting ourselves on pedestals of who is better than what what we need to do is we need to be together and we need to love each other regardless of you know what our shortcomings are and nobody is perfect and anyone that tells you so is a liar Oh. <laughs> and to prove that this week we've got the Wilson family who have made two hundred thousand dollars in charitable contributions. But let's check out what skeletons we found in their closet. 
<laughs> Stay tuned for these messages from our sponsors. The truth will be on the other side. <laughs> oh my Strike god. You down. <laughs> Strike you down. Is the segment Strike You Down? Uh, Strike You yeah. Down. I like it. Oh my god. That's so awful. That's I want Bill to kill himself now. No, I shouldn't say that. Uh, um. Uh. <laughs> so <what he> says, <laughs> uh, So what? What happens is there's this. Um, there's this odd. There's this odd thing that happens. This guy. This guy named um, Rob Pasterson begins uh, speaking at certain events, and he starts Fucker. claiming that. Um, that none of the events that took place during uh, during the what's called the outing uh, in the in the stadium, he says none of that actually happened. Oh fuck! That don't was do all, us like that, Opti. It was all engineered by uh, by odd beings and uh, by people who wanted to uh, change things because of their their selfish agendas. Um, People claim to have seen original footage uh, that that wasn't doctored, and um, it basically has you guys just going crazy and killing a bunch of people. Uh, so there's another faction that's growing, basically saying that the uh, the original cardinals never actually said that they were aliens. That was all you know doctored. That there was never any weird robot. That it was all just basically people, you know kids using pyrotechnics to stir trouble and to cause murder and uh, there's a growing faction that believes that because they've seen the footage and I'll take number four. Oh, so many different ways I can go now. Oh, so I, love when my, I love when my creativity just flows and flows and flows. <laughs> the bad guy. It's so easy to think of ways to be crappy. I wish being good was this Creatively easy. Who's going to stand up? I already that would be up. funny. That, that would be a plot twist. Right. Uh, <laughs> Jesus right. stands up. I'll just stand up. <laughs> yes. Let's do it. Yes, Seven. Well. All right. Fuck. Wah! There it is. You either eat it and the uh, authority comes rearing back in a slightly altered form or you sell out again. Oh my god. Let's see here. Um, yeah, I guess I will sell out like that. Like, brings me to just an absolute rage that people are believing it and uh, Bell kind of loses. Um, and he... Um, he, he doesn't stop now with, like, actually uncovering real dirt on people. In his fight to undermine these people, he goes about, like, planting, like, oh like faking stuff goodness. and putting out his own fake things and starting oh, to... Oh, man. out sneaky for untrustworthy and Bell oh sells God. out oh, his, that hurts his so belief bad. in the truth to, to, to fight. To, he sees it as just what needs to be done to stop to stop the enemies. Oh, that hurts my heart. Oh, I know, right? That's so <laughs> awful. <laughs> wow. Dude, that's what I love about this game. Like, I feel yeah. these decisions. I feel like it's really, really changing Bell in order to do that. But also, but you really... Yeah, I get it. Like, and here's the really shitty thing about it. It works. Yeah. It puts these people down, like these people who should probably be shouted down anyway are shouted down, but in worse ways. Some of them get in legal trouble. They lose their jobs. Some mm. of them get in jail for one thing or another. It's it's a bit dang. messy. Oh, my God. Dang, 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 dang man. That, that's, uh, that's harsh. In the aftermath of this, um... In many parts, due that to hurts Bell. you personally, like yeah. I think more than anything else, Opti. In in many ways, Bell actually has the defining nail in the coffin. He just goes out of his way, and using his um, using his technological know how, and along with his electric saps, 
he's able to do things that other people can't. He can doctor footage, he can create dirt, he can find it, he can monitor airwaves, and he just does it better than anyone. And anytime somebody rises to close to the top, he just releases dirt on them, whether it's real or fake, and uh, and they get brought down, leading to uh, a sort of central government that may be on the horizon forming, but uh, the religious folk have learned to keep to themselves because they don't want any of this real or imagined dirt to come up and make them lose credibility in the eyes of the faithful. Oh, so, God, that's so awful. It's so wow. awful. Yeah. So, um, so what you have now is a bunch of autonomous collectives. Uh, not all of them will stay that way because they remember they have some kind of cultural memory of what happened before and they want to go back there. So there's already talks of, uh, of things, you know, uh, of a, uh, of a republic forming uh, or a confederation or something uh, to bring some of these communities back together. Uh, and you're not even sure what this means for, uh, for the former nation, you know, and all of its enemies abroad. Uh, so does this mean that, that we're going to be invaded? Does this mean that, you know, we're not going to have a strong central government to trade with other people? Uh, so there's a lot of unknown questions, but what you don't have, what you absolutely do not have is uh, an overreaching, coercive, religious, uh, religious uh, authority. And that's that's kind of how scene, seven, scene 7 ends. So here's... here's Hold on, one, one, more, one more thing about Bell. He, he does what he does, but uh, if anything ever comes up about people trying to like urge him to like run for office or something, he always stays away from any sort of position of gaining authority because he knows deep down he can't trust himself with it. He knows deep down he's untrustworthy, but that's sort of how he sells it to himself that you know what he's doing is is, is actually right in the end. So uh, the, the 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 game usually ends when one of the youthful offenders has sold out all of their, um, uh, what do you call them? All of your convictions. Uh, we're ending early, because you know, with, with being a live show and, and having schedules and whatnot, we can't just keep it going um, without a kind of open-ended thing. So we're gonna end it here, and I'm gonna read the aftermath. And what I'm gonna do is, instead of, uh, it says the, the well, I'll, I'll get to it when, I, when we get there. I'll explain what, 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 how we're changing what we're changing in the aftermath. If the youthful offenders won, you can write a new exploit. So why don't we do that right now? Because um, then we can also convert there, an exploit, right? There is an option to take a system of control and convert it to an exploit. So it seems pretty reasonable that you would convert the system of control confession to an exploit, uh, which Bell was using, in that he can throw dirt and basically get a virtual confession by just making it up. So that confession is converted into uh, I don't know, what do you want to call it? Dirt? Dirt. <gasps> Getting in dirty dirt. laundry? Dirty laundry. Yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, that's just the aftermath of one. Uh... There is, and this is where we also like roll um, for our yeah. individual happy endings. Possibly. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Um, Maybe. Meta plot. Uh, blah blah blah. Given that the click can convert the authority system to control into exploits, it's possible for all of its control over the world to vanish. Uh, blah blah blah. All right, Oz, you're going to have to help me find out where the... Uh, I see end of the line. Is that where you would like to... Yeah, where's that at? Oh, or are you looking at end of the line? It's a... I have, I have it on page 79. But essentially, okay, what do we got? We have what happens to the world at large, which we already sort of did. Uh, does the authority acquire its need? Its need to keep the plague uncured and deserved? I don't... Thing. No, so. no, we we absolutely did not do that. Yep. Okay. Um, if the youthful offenders, if the click has more exploits, then the authority is overthrown. 
Okay. Um, whichever side wins gets to narrate what happens in the world after the series is over. But wait until the fate of each character is decided before you do this. So what we're going to do is we roll a six-sided die for each free conviction that we have, and add up all the um, and add that up. And then we're going to roll a die for each sold conviction and add that up and subtract. And if we have more on one side than the other, like. Basically, the more that you've sold, the less you will not have a happy ending if you oh. roll more on the sold side. Okay. So it's five dice total, and then... Uh, uh, I don't uh, know if the disorder counts, so... That's just... Uh, that's What's that? The disorder does count. It does, okay. yeah. Okay. So, so for example, uh, Cliff. Let's start with Cliff. You have three sold and two unsold, so roll 3d6 minus 2d6. Okay, so I um, rolled a nine for my sold out conviction total and a five for my not sold out conviction total. So I think oh, I no. get a sad ending. You get a sad ending. Yeah, so you bad ending. Cassie, you have two sold, three unsold. Okay, there's the three, and there's the two. That's a, okay. That's a happy ending, right? Happy ending. Yeah. Nine minus six. All right, Katie. Two sold, three unsold. Uh, so there's. The, uh, oh right. boy! Whoa, seven. All right, did do that right. All right, Welcome so back. I did. Yeah, you did. You, did. <laughs> you don't even need to roll the two. I was about to That's say there's true. no way I can meet that, so I All went. Right. And then for me, I have two sold and three unsold. So. Um... All right then. <laughs> oh, Happy ending. Uh, okay, so this is <gasps> sold, and this is unsold. Nice. Happy ending for me. Now, are you uh, are you caught up? Yeah. Opti? Okay, sorry. Once, yeah, once the fates of the youthful offenders are decided in broad strokes, one youthful offender can sacrifice herself for a friend. So if somebody has a sad ending and you have a happy one, you can give up your happy ending, take the sad ending, and give your friend the happy ending. This can only happen once per series, and it's given to the first person who claims it. The target can't refuse your offer. If you're forcing a positive future on the other character, they don't have a choice. <laughs> Go ahead I'll once. do it. I'll oh, do it. Oh, God. oh no! Nobody no. wanted that! <laughs> Oh my god, I was perfect. this close to doing it. No. There's a sacrificer. She says what happens oh. to her character first. The person whose sellout ended the series goes next. After that point, figure it out for yourselves. So explain your sad ending. Oh man. Fuck. Oh god, this is gonna kill everybody! Rip. So, um, I find out what Strike and Bell have been doing in order to essentially have their own system of control and controlling other people. And I decide that. I, that's my fault because I couldn't help them. And I couldn't. I, I couldn't. I, I couldn't make enough of an impact to 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 keep them to be you know like good pe people and um and doing the right thing and when uh you know the. I knew that they still have good in their hearts, and that at least maybe I can do something to 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 change their to change their ways to to make them see what they're doing is wrong. And so, uh, when uh, when it's found out what what they've been doing. I take the blame for it. I say that it was me and that it was my idea. And what are the and consequences for that? Well, that, uh... I'm not really, uh, looked 
well upon anymore, that's for sure. Um, I don't, I don't see her being, uh, able to really recover from it. I think that, like, she's, uh, I don't want to say, like, goes off, but, like, but she, you know, she tells them, it's like, you can still do so much good with your platform, with what you're doing. All I can do is, and so, I will, uh, yeah. Don't have to take the fall from me like this. People will believe anything we tell them. It doesn't matter. Oh, this isn't a discussion. This is just oh, a okay. narration. Well, yeah, yeah. So, so, uh, and, you know, if he does, well, then make your voice count for something good, not to hold people back, to bring them up. And, uh, yeah, I will take whatever, uh, yeah. Like, uh, you know, everything that, that, like, I've worked for, I've, uh, I've sacrificed for my friends because I trusted him to do what's right. All right, Bill. So, yeah. You get to narrate your happy ending. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, there was, there was this thing where it, it, there was a, somebody got evidence that I framed something and it was pretty hard evidence involved, but somehow, uh, she managed to pull the strings and I didn't get outed for it, but she got a, uh, I'm just, Bell's really upset and embarrassed that this happened and it takes him a while, like he kind of continues along his own ways for some time, just trying to be more careful but eventually it just kind of eats away at him and he decides you know, this this isn't right, I, you know, just fighting the wrong people it's just, it's not enough um, so he gets in touch with, uh, calls up Al, um, Alice and um, um, he basically has a talk with her about wanting to uh, help her get her messages out. Uh, science is important. A lot of history has been lost. This whole circus show I've been doing, it's been fun. I've done what good I can with it. But now it's really time to rebuild. And... Um, I'm, I'm hoping that maybe you can you can help me put out a better man. Yeah, do that. Uh, uh, let's see. Strike. Why don't you narrate next? Um, having seen, or rather, heard the news of um, what Unity did. He's going to, he wakes up now every day uh, in whatever shack out in the woods that he's uh, converted for himself into a home um, in front of this large graffitied mural of unity as an angel and the words unity can't be unity if it's against unity. And he wakes up every day to see it and remind himself what real sacrifice and what it what it means to be a good person a good person that I never was and I need to strive to be better is this happy ending for you? My Are you happy? happy? well <laughs> right, so hold on so hold on Let's, right so then self flagellate just because one of our players took the fall <laughs> um is I guess I'm I would be curious what um how Alice would feel about living with strike if that would be part of a happy ending we're all curious about that Ooh. oh jeez well then let's push pause on your happy ending and see if Alice's happy ending has <laughs> any possible way for that to happen all right so Alice goes out into the community and tries. She wanders for the longest while, going from ramshackle fucking hut village to to city to desecrated ruins to traveling nomad packs that find throughout all the chaos and 
offers what help she can, what medicine she knows, what 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 antibiotics she can create on the fly, and just feels like she has to give more to the community. She keeps in touch with Belle, and after some time roaming, she gathers enough information to find where Strike is kind of hiding out and seeks him out. And comes across, sees the mural that he has painted in his shack. Sits and waits. Day. Was it a shack? Was that? Yeah. Yeah. Shack, yeah. shack out shack. in the woods. Shack out in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> Got inf- the information from Bell or some other yeah. source that has a good idea on hiding where. Yeah, Bell would totally tell you where he is. <laughs> she probably would. Yeah, um, and when Strike walks up from going out and getting whatever groceries he can get his hands on, uh, and sees Alice at his... Were you inside already? In the doorstep? Yeah, just staring at the staring at the barrel. Yeah. As... Where have you been? Make up for what we stop in the world. Gotta do something, right? Can't let all these brains go to waste. Yeah. Here. Let me show you what I've been doing. And just shows all this different kinds of like artwork that he's been doing for uh, both Bell's podcast and um, flyers, posters, like literally just anything that he can do, uh, murals, art. Um, Strikes made a name for himself. Um, It's like this antagonistic um revol- revolutionizing like uh shit starter <laughs> that's always been who he was right and every work that he does is controversial but it's always um it's now been there's just this maturity now to all of his art everything is just so much more refined and responsible and it's about um making sure that we're the best that we can be push through all of our flaws and never take the fall for people and never push people to take the fall for us um just honesty and and purity and and, um yeah so do they get together or is it (gasps) for fuck off that's really what we want to know that's what we want to know yeah Ten years down the line. Ten years down the line. No, fucking. All right, Alice actually reaches out. I was gonna say Opti before you had to fucking just like, okay, can we get the show on the road over here? <laughs> Jackass. Happy endings. Gotta be happy. Hey, but, uh, you can't sacrifice one person's happy for another's. Well, apparently, so you can sacrifice happy. one person's happiness for all three. I, bet, so. I guess you yeah. can, according to the <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but, but only once. <laughs> So, Alice kind of smiles and nods at all the artwork she's seen everywhere she goes. Kind of just extends her hand out to strike and's like, travel with me. Come with me. See your work everywhere. Help me do good. And like we'll stop there. Ha! Ah! Oh! <laughs> Fucker. And we'll pick up like in in a year or two with 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 this. Yeah. Well, <laughs> like I said, okay, final line of the night of the series. The series. Like I said, I'm always going to be at your side. All you have to do is ask. Man, yeah, all can. the feels for everything. I am so impressed with this team and and how you all have a natural storytelling sense um, that you anticipated some of the places that I wanted to go before I went there, um, that we were able to tell a really engaging story. Yes, some of it was completely 
out there. And I want more food fight. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but, but this was so great. This was so much fun. And this system is so good for pulling out those actual uh, moral... Uh, what am I looking for? Conflict. Like there, there's, they, they feel like real choices in the real world because you actually know sometimes you can give up what you really believe in order to win. And, mm -hmm. and that is frankly something that I struggle with every time I look out the window is I wish if everybody didn't worry about winning so goddamn much, then maybe we could all be better people. <laughs> so good for you guys. Thank you so, so much for playing this game with me. Oz, yeah. uh, I think the lion's share of the praise goes to you for not only playing, but also like doing all of the stuff. All of this stuff. So that I, yeah. so that I could just, uh, so that I could just focus on running uh, and also because I didn't know how, uh, yeah. but mostly so I could focus on just running the game. Um, and, and, and hey, I want to say thank you uh, to, uh, to Cassie and, and to Katie and to Cliff, to the, I don't know. <laughs> no, that's not gonna work. So, uh, but thank you guys so much for playing and for saying yes when I asked, um, and and for being wonderful role players. You guys are really, really awesome. Um, and also, thank you for I being horribly despicable. Yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> I know how to be an ass. Is that what you're thanking me for? Uh, but but also <laughs> to good. the to the chat and and to the fans, oh gosh, and everybody yeah. who gave and everybody who's listened um this the, the the tension was ramped up so much higher because you guys were there to go back and forth with us um this was just an excellent experience i just had a really really good time um and and if we get a chance to do it again that is absolutely something that i would for be sure. down for for sure nice yeah it won't be it won't be for for some time i don't want to get anybody's hopes up um whether we come back to this world whether we come back and do something different or whether we go on to another indie game, um, all those things are up in the air, but but honestly, this group is special uh, and this game was really, really awesome. And I think uh, I would just really encourage everybody to drop um, Robert Bowl a line if you like this game uh, or even go the next step and, and buy the book. I know he would appreciate it. Uh, anybody else want to say anything before we go? Gosh, um... Thanks for running. Yeah, dude. yeah, you for real, awesome. exactly for real. So good. Yeah, You're awesome. I agree. You, I awesome. you, you caused some like real emotional problem. moments. Like, emo yeah, shit like, some really disturber. good stuff. King yeah. shit disturber, right? Fucking up there. Give him a crown. <laughs> I mean, you, you're really good with telling a story. I'm glad that I got to tell a story with you guys. It's super fun, and I hope I get to do it again. Yeah. Um. I will be doing it again, but not with you guys, this Saturday, because of Shattered Isles. Max and I are going to be running a game, and it's going to be awesome, so you better be there too. 5pm yeah. Eastern Time. Um, we're going to see uh, if Thomas and Kodrog can actually rescue this princess they've been chasing after, because they're so fucking close. <laughs> <laughs> so close. Yeah. So come join us, it'll be super fun. Yeah, on Sunday, check out Stellar Drift, which is a Starfinder actual play, three to six p.m. Eastern time. And uh, Monday, then we have like a like this three day weekend of awesome role playing games. Yeah, yeah. Monday is going to be Join the Anarchy, which is the show that I normally do. Um, so every other Monday, Join the Anarchy. Check us out. We play Shadowrun Anarchy in its improv style. We interact with the chat a lot, so we tell the story as we go. Um, but also before any of this, definitely come and check us out uh, this Wednesday for Once Upon a Tabletop. If you like our storytelling prowess, you should watch us try and do it when we're playing a board game. Um, so we, we do storytelling um, to justify what we're doing on a board game. We don't really even care if we win as long as the story is awesome. And we're going to be playing Agents of Smirsh, which is a Kickstarter game set in 1970s, like campy spy action kind of setting. Um, so yeah, definitely. I think that's going to be awesome. And our special guest for that is going to be uh, Chris from Crit Squad. Yay! We got to play Sasha. So I'm super excited about that. It's going to be fun. Yeah. Wow. So, yeah. About how about you, Opti? What uh, 
what's what's on your end uh currently uh i'm working on the renraku episode uh for the neo anarchist podcast um those corporation episodes take forever uh, but thank you for hanging out. Thank you for wanting more. Um, after that, we're headed into season five. We'll start doing the uh, uh, 2075 and beyond stuff. Um, also doing um, uh, Legends of Earth Dawn with Cliff, which I'm really enjoying. It's it's I don't get a chance to just play a lot. Um, and and being able to play in Earth Dawn, which is a, a setting that is, I want to say it's not like Shadowrun at all. With the caveat that, like, it totally is Shadowrun, like, you know, <laughs> ten thousand years ago. But whatever. Um, I just, I love being an orc. I love being a troubadour. I love everything about my character. I love Cliff, and I love who the people we're playing with. So it's super, super fun. Um, so go check out Legends of Earth Dawn. I just stole some of Cliff's thunder. Um, well, by all means, I've got so many things to talk about. And promote, <laughs> to have somebody else carry some of the other ones. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, Legends of Earthdawn, it's out, lots of episodes out there now, um, I think we just released the 10th one, or maybe the 9th of the new series, and it's it's really great, There's some really excellent role playing. you get to hear Opti as a player instead of a GM this time and as a uh, rather rambunctious orc who just kind of sticks his nose without a regard for whether to get bitten off my character is the literal best. Like, he is just <laughs> the best. I love him. Uh, and also, uh, Cliff and I are collabing on another thing, which is uh, called Shadowrun Origins. It's an AP uh, set in the 2050s, and it is about a young uh, 16, 17 year old Opti and his crew uh, running through the old classic Shadowrun missions. Oh my uh, God, that sounds adorable. It's super fun. It's so my, it's so awesome. So I'm getting to actually do a lot of good playing. Um, and we're having, the, the coolest thing about that one is Cliff is our kind of all, all-time GM, uh, which means that when we don't have another GM or when we're doing downtime stuff, Cliff is the GM. When when that's not happening, when these other missions are being run, we're bringing in guest GMs. Uh, so for example, um, Cliff stopped being our GM, took the the role of, uh, of T, the troll, and uh, and Bull, uh, Stephen Bull Rakovich from Catalyst fame, uh, is actually just finished running us through the uh, Missing Blood uh, mission or adventure from the Universal Brotherhood book. Uh, next time, we're going to have another uh, Catalyst or Shadowrun alumnus uh, run us through some other uh, older missions. So we're having guest GMs, we're having Cliff do it, we're having Opti as a player, and uh, it's just it's just amazing. We're having a really fun time. But I haven't dropped yet. Or we're still waiting on a couple things to come together before we drop it. Um, but that one is su- certainly one to look forward to. I just used a lot of time, so thanks. No, it's fine. I mean, you know what? We're we're very we're very big on Shadowrun. This is basically where we started. Uh, I think we have some a bunch of other Shadowrun stuff. We've got Arcology podcast. If you want to learn about stuff with Shadowrun, we also have the Shadowrun missions online. So if you want to play Shadowrun, you can go to our website shadowcasters.network/srmo or just go into the Shadowrun missions section. And uh, yeah, you can play the missions game that normally you can only play at conventions. You can do those online. So that's one of those things that we. Uh, that we've got going, which we're very proud of. Indeed. Excellent. Yeah, we're busy. Yeah. Busy yeah, making no. things that we hope you'll enjoy listening to or watch. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. So, um, I think with that, you want to send us off, Opti? I would love to. On behalf of the Shadowcasters Network, on behalf of Katie and Cassie and <laughs> and, and Cause. I mean, Oz, uh, we would like to say thank you, everybody, for watching and sticking with us. This has been one of our uh, best shows uh, as far as watching, as far as giving. So you guys have made this awesome just as much as we have. Um, We will be back, uh, whether it's with this exact team or whether it's with, uh, you know, this exact game. We're not sure. Um, But this indie game thing, I think we have a winner on so we're gonna we're gonna hit the drawing board see if we want to do this again see if we want to maybe do blades in the dark is actually something that we've been thinking about um so anyway uh look for us look for more look for something different i don't know but uh just don't just don't look for us to stop <laughs> there you go <laughs> shit <laughs> okay. no except i'm loving for, it except for tonight we've got to stop tonight we've got to stop this particular thing but um Sleep. again I, can't yeah. thank you guys enough. So amazing. 
And uh, this is the Misspent Youth signing off. Bye. Bye.